So by now everybody knows about my cooking. They know how I cook. They know what I cook. They see what I cook. She talks about it all the time. But we wanted to show everybody a little bit about how you can cook, roast, smoke, whatever you do, and make things tasty, even if you have food allergies. She's allergic to absolutely everything. I'm sure everybody knows. So I have to learn how to cook a little bit differently. Today, we're gonna to cook this little three pound butterball turkey that we found. It's a turkey breast. This is a little gravy packet that comes with it. And I was skeptical at first um, of using this in the end since she's allergic to gluten. And that includes wheat flours. But after doing some research, I found out that this actually is made with rice flour, which is something that she can have with all of her food allergies. So score for us, and thank you, Butterball. Today, we're gonna to prepare this little three pound turkey breast, boneless, that we got. You can pick these up at any local store, grocery store. I think I got this one at Walmart. It was like 10 bucks, piece of cake. So today, we're gonna to prepare this for the smoker and I'm actually gonna put on some bacon at the end so that that bacon gets cooked and the fats and juices from the bacon get incorporated into the seasoning with the turkey. So let's go. Okay, the next step is to take all your seasonings and put them together, right? So we're smoking quite a bit. We have a Traeger, I love it. But barbecue and smoking requires different kinds of sugars to help caramelize on the meats and you get that nice bark on the outside. And, and well, my wife can't have a lot of sugars. Why? The glycemic index makes her hormones go nuts. So I have to try other things to get and create barks on meats and keep it flavorful. And so that's what I've tried to do here. For this turkey breast, as you know, with all white meats, if it's just white meats, it requires some flavor inducing spices or else it's just meat. So what I've done was I grabbed a few ingredients that I, I believe would work well together for this based on the flavor profiles that I know turkey has. And so I have a little bit of cayenne. That'll give us some heat. I also will use a little bit of cumin. Next, we've got some chili powder that we'll use. I've got some garlic salt, because I don't want to put a whole lot of salt, regular salt on the turkey, but I'll use some garlic salt to get that salty going and also to give it some flavor to help keep it moist. As with the garlic salt, I've got garlic powder. We gonna kick with the vampires today. Ha, no vampires allowed. <laughs> One of the last things is allspice. I love allspice and different kinds of meats because it brings out a little bit of anise flavor and helps when you're using things such as chili powder and cumin in barbecues and in, and in smoking. So for me, it's great. For her, it's even better. And also, we'll use some dried oregano. That smells amazing. <sighs> Mix everything together. and we're ready to rub. Okay, so here we go. We've got our little mixture of spices and I'm just going to start putting it on and rubbing it in. You can use your hands. Some people will use gloves when they do this. For me, I guess hot soap and water so it doesn't make a difference. Make sure you get it all over the whole thing. Rub it in. Rub it in, rub it in, yeah. All right. Now some people, after they do this, will let it sit, they'll refrigerate it and let it sit a little bit. 
but this thing is good to go. I've done many of these and we're about to put it on the grill. The cover is about to come off and we are about to crank up the smoker. Y'all, we have got smoke. Woohoo! Okay, so the smoker is getting ready. We've got it heated up. It started, I'm gonna heat it up to about 225 degrees. I wanna smoke somewhere between 225 and 250. Um, and to an internal temperature of about 165 degrees. One of the best ways I know to do that, everybody knows, is to have a thermometer of some sort inside the meat. Well, my wife got fancy with me and I have this. This is a digital electronic thermometer and it's got Bluetooth so I can monitor it on my phone. It sends me an alert on my phone I can also check the temperature of the meat products that are cooking, and it's absolutely wonderful to use. Simple probes, you have four probes, they look like this. Insert it into the meat. One part goes inside the unit itself and creates the connection. Perfect. So we're gonna get this ready, and then I'm gonna put my bacon slabs on that we saw briefly before. And then we'll be ready to go outside and stick this on the grill. Okay, so our temperature is where we want it to be, in between 225 and 250. You can see the temperature inside the turkey breast right now is 65. Now, add 100 more degrees to that and we'll be ready to go. See in about three or four hours. Okay, so our turkey breast is on. We've got our temperature up to about 230, which is great. This should take about three and a half to four hours to cook, and we'll see you when it's done. All right, y'all. It has come off the smoker, and it is time for dinner. I'll let you know how it was.